So you've done a lot of sanding and you got a big stack of parts there, but there's some assembly required, right? Yep, there's some assembly required. So first thing we're gonna do is you'll notice that you have this piece and this piece, right? Which is basically, th this is something where you have to wood glue it together or recommend it to. You could use a super glue if you want, but basically what I do is, and now it's time for the parts bag. So let's get some parts dumped out here. So you don't lose them. Okay, so one of the things, the little tricks that I use is to get this aligned right so you can put it in later is you'll notice that these eighth inch pins fit into these holes like this so you can use them as aligning pins like that. And what I'll do is I'm going to put a little glue at the base of this and align it to that. Typically use just a good wood glue. And what is this piece that you're putting together? This is the handle piece. It's the main. This is it's where the action happens. And this just because this piece takes the most abuse in all of it, and you want a good glue job on that. See how all that glue smithered on there? And one of the other things, when you do use wood glue, secret, use a wet rag to wipe up the ex excess glue. So let's go ahead and uh, put some of these pins in here as alignment pins. Well, how do you keep the glue from going in the holes? Um, at this point, on this piece, it doesn't matter, right? Because you're gonna drive another, you're gonna drive something else in there. And then what you do is you clamp it. You use rubber bands or Whatever you have, right, that's handy. I have a lot of clamps. So, and I'll just clamp that real good, like that. And then notice that there's some little bit of excess glue here. I will dab that off. And we'll let that set for a little bit. What's a little bit? Yeah, it, usually this glue sets up the handle in about 20 minutes if you use a good wood glue. But give it 30 minutes or so. <clears throat> so we'll set that aside. Next thing you'll notice is every one of these things has a hole. Right? Lots of holes here. There's a hole. You see this extra center hole? That's actually the, the, the shaft of the gear. Okay, so now we're going to put a shaft in. And the way you do that get one of these pens, take a piece of sandpaper, and you take about a little bit of the bottom, this is the way I do it, and you rough it up a little bit. Okay? Roughing it up means, you know, that it's all scratched up pretty good, like that. Okay. And if you, uh, and I'll show you another thing if you have a drill or you have other equipment. So one of the things I do, then is I take this pen, and this is just normal super glue, and I'll put a little dab on that pen, and I'll shove it in a hole, and press it down. Wipe it off with my finger a little bit. Right. Now you should have something look like that. Alright. And that piece then will fit in the holes here on the table. So we have the other piece that's I'll show you. So you wonder why all the rest of these are all these extra holes are in there. We have an indicator that goes on there. So this is the target gear at the top? This is the target gear at the top. I mean the, the similar process is followed for every other gear that you that you sanded and finished. All right? And I'll show you another mechanism. If you have a drill, it doesn't take much. Let me get my drill set here. And 
if you ha happen to have a metal lathe, you can knurl it if you really want to. So then I will do the same thing for another pin, real quick, before I do the glue. Or you can just do all these that way, because all the pins are the same. So you put the little metal pin in where you would normally put the drill bit, yep. and just hold the sandpaper so it sands. Yep, exactly. Make your own little mini lathe. So get a little glue on here. Shove it in the hole. Shove it now. Gotta give that, that glue a little time to set up because, um, and if it doesn't fit really tight, you want to just take a little hammer and give them a little tap. Make sure they're good in that hole. But you can see the excess glue. Don't put these things together right now because you'll glue them through this, right? So give that a little bit of time. I'll go ahead and do one of the other gears here real quick while that's, that's drying. So, do one more time. Remember, only about half the pin. And it's just to rough it up so the glue has somewhere to adhere to. We'll put, get, get our trusty glue bottle here again. And you can get this glue at Hobby Lobby or Woodcraft Store or wherever. I think you can get it like most stores that are most stores, discount stores too, yeah, right? Yeah, you can get I mean, a Lowe's, you can get it at Menards, you can get it about any big box store. And uh, just make sure it's a good, good quality uh, super glue. How long does it take to set? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> bottle says that it takes like 20 seconds, but I don't believe that all the time, so I've been burned. So how long do you usually give it? I give it a couple minutes. But you'll notice that then that sets together like that. And that's made so that it can be turned and so forth, right? So now we have a few of these done. We should be able to work with this piece now. And you notice that we have these pins in there still, right? And that's a problem. So we'll take another pin and just push that other pin out because we're not using pins in this piece. Okay. Set those aside. So you now you'll notice that there's a three quarter inch screw there. Typically I wait till after I'm finished, finished with the gear, but I'll show you how to put those in right now. Let's go ahead and get some of these started here. But this is something you do after you do the finishing, right? That's right, that's right. I mean, you can do it before just to get the thread set because what we're using is basically pressing threads into the wood with this. Um, but if you really want, and you really want a good secure type fit, you can also put a dab of, of glue down in those holes before you put these in, and then that will give it a way to make a plastic thread inside the wood. So we'll run these in here. Like so. And I'm mainly showing you this how to assemble before I go finish. We'll and take them back out before you finish though. And and you would um, put the pins in all the gears before you finish them, right? Yeah, that's actually, uh, you don't have to, uh, but I, I would recommend it because it makes holding on to the gear while you're finishing it a little easier. You got this nice little handhold here, you know, you can hold on to it and uh, if you have a drill and an eighth inch bit, you can take a scrap piece of wood and make a drying rack for your gears, a old 2x4 or something like that, so that they're not uh, laying on the table. Just drill about a quarter inch hole. So I'll probably put glue in these later after I finish, and I just want to show you how this is done. I'm driving these in here. <clears throat> like so. Now you'll notice this aluminum spacer. Right? This is actually the shaft for the gear. Okay? Now you notice it might be kind of snug. Okay? Uh, wood does move. 
Now you can take a little bit of a, a, a hammer if you do this at finishing time and pound that. Oh, that's bad. You can take a hammer and pound that in if you want, or sometimes because the wood moves on you, I mean, wood gets a little bit of a, a little bit of moisture, expands a little bit. It's kind of weird. So one of the things I do is I chuck up a, a quarter inch drill bit and you can spin the drill like you're normally drilling it, but I tend to spin it backwards, especially if I don't have a ream. And I'll just ream that out real good. So it fits. So now we got a, a really nice fit there. So then I'll take a uh, Three eighths inch, another three quarter inch uh, screw. And I'll put it in there. Now pull that up in there tight. And that holds the shaft in place. That holds the shaft in place. Now it, it all may be really tight, and you may want to do this before you glue it together, but it, it doesn't have to. Remember that the, it's going to spin on this shaft. So, and at assembly time, when you do the final assembly, um, one of the things I would recommend is to. Uh, uh, put a little bit of Loctite on them and you can get Loctite if you're not familiar with what Loctite is it is this stuff cool stuff you can find it in your uh, local Menards or, or whatever but it's Loctite and when I do the final assembly especially on that main shaft there you want to put a little bit of Loctite on it to hold the the bolt in place. So basically that is is the the assembly of this mechanism. So we're gonna let you put the rest of the pins in and then we'll come back later and you can show us how to finish. Yes and at that point we'll have the final product and we'll be finishing it and putting um, everything together and uh, I believe that uh, that's where we are. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you.